Hello, this is Nick Coons with the Red7 YouTube channel. Um, wanted to do a quick video about some things that I've got going on here in my office. Now, one of the things that uh, I've been working on recently is rearranging my office, trying to make things uh, more productive, more user-friendly, easier to work with. Um, as I've got lots of different things going on, I'll probably do a couple different videos showing what I'm doing to, to keep myself organized, uh, both with papers, uh, as far as getting rid of them, and digitally as well. Uh, so the first thing that I, that I did is I started reorganizing all the cables because I really hate having cables everywhere. Um, you know, one of the things that seems to, to happen all the time with computers is you've got cables everywhere coming out the back of your desk, flying around underneath your desk. Um, you've got devices that you plug in and unplug, your phone, your camera, your Bluetooth, um, you know, your iPod. There's all sorts of things that you're continuously plugging and unplugging in uh, that you have USB ports for. And, uh, you know, there's USB ports that are accessible on the front of the computer, but I keep my computer under the desk, so it's kind of a pain to reach down there. And there's only two of them down there, and so I might want to have more things than that plugged in, or I might not want to reach down there, or I might want to leave the cable plugged in all the time, but I don't want the cable sitting around dangling by my feet. So I tried to keep this a little bit more organized. Now, my initial thought was to take a USB hub, which basically will take one cable, uh, which will plug into one USB port on the back of the computer, and then I could set the hub, which would have, you know, say four ports sitting right on the desk. That'd be kind of cool. I thought, you know, have this little device sitting there. So that was my initial idea, and I would, you know, maybe use some double-sided sticky tape or some kind of double-sided uh, sticky foam to keep the hub in place. That way I wouldn't have to use one hand to hold the hub down while I use the other hand to put the, put the uh, USB device into place. I could just, um, just with one hand, plug it directly in. Well, I went over to Fry's Electronics because, uh, I mean, they have a, a wide variety of basically everything, and I found a very interesting USB hub which goes directly into the desk. It goes into a little hole, a grommet, and it comes with a grommet that goes in the desk. Um, now, this is a three-inch hole that it goes into. Most desks that I know of are closer to two-inch, maybe two-and-a-quarter-inch grommets uh, where the cables flow. Um, now, this doesn't really get in the way of the cables because it has the hub sitting over the top of the grommet um, and then has holes in the sides where the cables can go down. Now, essentially what that means is you can have the USB hub built into the desk. Then underneath the desk, you can fish the wire around and back into the computer. Now, that's actually something that I've done here on my own desk. Now, there's a couple of tools that you'll need for that. The first thing, uh, of course, will be a drill because you'll need to put a three-inch hole in your desk. Now, to make that 3-inch hole, to make a nice clean cut, you'll probably want to go with a 3-inch hole saw. This is what I used. It was 13 bucks from Home Depot, so it was a little pricey, especially if I'm only going to use it one time. Um, now, the hub itself was, I think it was uh, $25, and it's a 4-port hub, but once I've got it all in place, it fits nicely in there. Now, the, uh, the plastic is pretty much perfectly 3 inches, so when you cut the hole, you have a little wiggle, wiggle room, and the grommet that fits in the hole ends up being a little bit too small, and so it moves around and it doesn't really do a lot of good. So what I did is I wrapped it with several layers of electrical tape, and that gave it a nice, more snug fit. Then I, you know, pushed it into place and got everything snapped in. So here's what the final product looks like. You can see I've got this USB hub. Well, here's my desk backing out, my computer there. And you can see I've got this USB hub coming right out of the desk. And it just sits right in there. It's uh, made by Belkin. And uh, it actually works really well. It's in there. You know, it's nice and snug. It's not going anywhere. And I can plug devices right into that. So I've got this built into my desk. I don't have to worry about fishing wires around anymore. If I have something I need to plug in quickly, I can just put in right there or, you know, a USB uh, flash drive or something like that. And the only thing I would recommend possibly doing on this is that the, uh, the little blue LED there is extremely bright. Um, yeah, so you don't want to <laughs> look directly into it. It's almost like a little blue laser. So it definitely gets pretty bright. You might want to take a little piece of tape and just cover that up because it could get annoying, especially if you like working in a more dim environment. That could really ruin it for you. Um, now, if you don't really feel like um, you know going out and trying to pick up the correct device or drilling holes in your desk or you don't know what's going on, you can definitely get someone to help you. And you know, uh, Here at Red7, we'd be happy to help with something like that as well. I mean, we're not big on, on drilling holes, but... <laughs> We've done quite a bit of cable running before and putting holes in things and and uh, everything's always turned out really well. So it's something we're definitely capable of doing. And uh, to contact us, you could always check out the, web or the website, red7linux.com. Don't forget to subscribe to these YouTube videos. Uh, so we'll have hopefully more helpful tips coming up uh, on a regular basis here. And, of course, we've always got the Facebook fan page, where if you fan that, um, you will be able to be notified of everything that comes up all the time. The progress on our current Scottsdale store, any coupons that we post, and, of course, these videos are also put there as well. So thank you so much for tuning in.